I'm just so happy because I love a Roland Emmerich disaster movie. Uh, they are just my my comfort food. Uh, how is Moonfall, would you say, different from any other disaster movie you've done before? I think it takes more uh, uh, time and space and then inside the moon. And that uh, was for me quite different. Uh, because I'm always like kind of, uh, after like the 2012, I asked myself, sort of, what else could I do? Right. And uh, and I kind of said, I'm no more disaster movies. And then I kind of um, read this book called Who Built the Moon? And that inspired me to come up with this crazy tale. In my head, you just walk around and think of all the ways that the earth could be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like kind of a, it's 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 hard actually to find different scenarios, you know. And it's 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 uh, what I also like is uh, it has like this um, this uh, twist that the moon is not real. I mean, the moon is built, and that's yeah. like I think makes it like work. That's the thing too is I'm watching it thinking you know I go into it thinking okay what if the moon falls like to Earth and we got to blow it up, but it gets so much more complex than that, and it's like this very kind of complex lore, which makes me wonder what you're thinking about, because it is almost like a larger universe. Do you have mapped out multiple films here? Because there was talks of a sequel. Well, that's like, kind of, I mean, if the movie is successful, we will do a sequel or two sequels. Uh, that's like, what's always like uh, imagined as a trilogy. Okay, okay, I like that, I like that. Um, so in, in 20, I love 2012, and there's that iconic tsunami shot that just seems so epic, but like such a big feat. For Moonfall, what was the biggest hurdle for you? The thing you really wanted to get right, but it was like a big feat. It was like kind of the anomaly. I mean, we call it anomaly, but it's a swarm. It's a nano swarm. That was like kind of super hard because we had like two companies working on it. And just to combine their forces and the look, it was a very, very complicated uh, because when you made it too much a swarm, it was not working. And when mm -hmm. it was too much like with these arms and stuff like an animal. So it had to be kind of developed in a very, very uh, clever way. Getting that look right. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have, I know you said you kind of thought before Moonfall, maybe we're going to be done with disaster movies. I, as a, as a fan of yours, I say, keep doing them. I love them. Um, <clears throat> do you have any disaster movies in your mind that just like have not come to fruition for whatever reason? No, not really, because it has to be, uh, of something really new and exciting and I have no other you know, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I would love to kind of actually make another movie about climate change, but that has to be more like in the future, how the horror scenario gets, you know, like kind of in five, six hundred million people, uh, you know, like kind of want to come to Europe or so. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. this, it's this, uh, everybody in Africa. And, and the Far East cannot like live off their land anymore. And they will all want to come, go to the North. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, so lovely talking to you. That is my time. But I, I love this movie. I hope we get the other two. Okay, cool.